Hi guys, my name is Paris, aka Ghost Diver 9. If you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you do subscribe because it is very appreciated. And if you are not new to my YouTube channel, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel for a brand new video, Call of Duty Ghost. Today I will be playing on the map a Collision, a little TDM for you guys. I know I do play a lot of TDM, but uh, I am actually a good fan of TDM. I've played TDM since Modern Warfare 2 first came out. And Anyway, let's get into the class setup. Today I'll be using my Golden K7. Actually, only took me two days to get this gun gold. And I actually, this is one of my favorite submachine guns besides the Ripper. And before the Ripper is actually my Maverick. If you have not checked me out using the uh, Maverick, you should go check that video out. Link to that will be down in the description box below. And hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay. So let's actually get into my class setup. I'll be using the K Golden K7 foregrip and extended clip. This is actually one of my favorite guns, submachine guns, just due to the fact that it automatically has a suppressor in it, and just using foregrip and extended mags on it is very, just very makes this gun very deadly. But this is one of those guns you want to use if you're going to rush around the map, get in between the corners, get in their spawns and stuff like that. This is not one of the guns you want to camp with. Trust me, I know. It only took me two days to get this gun gold. My perks are ready up, sleight of hands, marathon, agility, and hard line. Actually, uh, not hard line. Sorry about that. Fully reloaded. Just due to the fact that this gun is actually pretty beast and does have a lot of ammo. So my score streaks are uh, Satcom, Trinity Rocket, and a Battle Hind. Just because I do run those streaks a lot. Just because those are one of my favorite streaks ever in this game. I don't really run for those high uh, score streaks like a Hilo Pilot, like Ali A, and all those big famous YouTubers do. Just to the fact because I know I'm not going to get those and I know I'm not going to set my standards too high. Uh, you do not see me get a uh, Battle hiding in this gameplay, but if you do, stay tuned. Uh, later this week, I will have a video up. I've already have it re pre-recorded. All I have to do is put the audio into it, and I will have it posted maybe by Wednesday, because uh, I do get out of school Monday, so I won't have to worry about getting to bed on time and all that stuff, getting a few good hours of sleep for my sleep. And um, hope you guys do enjoy are enjoying the gameplay so far. If you still are tuned in, make sure you do uh, drop a like because it only takes 3.1 seconds. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. Make sure you do subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay, Watch Dogs, and GTA 5 glitches. I will have some GTA 5 glitches up and running. Maybe by today, maybe by tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. But I know uh, it has been really requested. I have had a few messages saying, can we please get some GTA 5 glitches? Uh, I do have a few of them stored up, but I have to check them and make sure they still work because I know there was an uh, there was a hot fix after patch 1.13. I'm not 100 sure if it was another hot patch, but I know there was a hot patch released to the game. But anyway, that's getting off topic. It's off all the way in GTA 5 land. But let's get back to Call of Duty Ghost Land and pretty much. This map, I like, I do like this map a lot. This map is very small. It does remind me of uh, Dome. I don't know why, it just reminds me of it. It actually just does, but I don't know why, but it does. And it's very small and has lots of corners. That's what I actually like about using the K7 on this map. It's just that you can get them while they're in the corners. Right there, I tried to get that guy, but my teammate got him. But like, that's right there is what I'm talking about. Right here again, going in. I'm going ham with this gun. I actually do love this gun. It's one of my favorite submachine guns. As I said before, I just like using this gun just due to the fact it has an integrated silencer and just using foregrip and extended mags on it do really uh, make the gun better. And you, if you know how to jump shot, drop shot, one of those two, this gun is perfect for you. And if you if you're one of those people who would like to go in go in and just get into the team spawn and just rush this is the gun for you because this gun is actually one of my favorite guns I could possibly ever use if I wasn't allowed to use my Maverick or my uh, Ripper this would be my second this would be my third choice to go to just due to the fact that it actually is very very good one of my favorite game one of my favorite uh, this is one of my favorite guns and as you see here I do get final kill right here with the golden k7 foregrip and extended mags if you do enjoy this gameplay make sure you do subscribe to my youtube channel for it because i do upload some pretty good call of duty gameplay make sure you do stay in tune to wednesday to see some pretty good gameplay because i will be posting some then if you have enjoyed this video make sure you do drop a like it's been your boy paris i'm out see you guys